should have worn an extra pair of gloves but really you know getting your ass on the fucking saddle is not the fucking hard part and then you know once you're already riding you're just glad you did it anyway so really it's not fucking hard at all there's nothing hard about it my legs feel better than yesterday so I spun them out and look I'm passing all these cars it's just a win-win on every fucking Thing. These cars, like, it's great when they when they stop passing you and you get a little bit of quiet. It's like, ah, oh, man, you realize how much stress they cause because you just get this calmness when there's no cars driving around you on the road. And it's like they're just big, you know, stress machines. I'm glad I'm not in one. And I'll probably get to work faster today. But that was quite easy, not hard at all. Uh, quite enjoyable, actually. Um, didn't even get that cold like at first my hands were freezing but as I got my blood pumping my hands stopped being cold and they, they ended up like being sweaty and you know I was sweating so there's no such thing as bad weather only bad clothing good tip uh, yesterday it was warmer but I my head got really cold even though I had two hats on but I put on a scarf today around my neck and I like tucked it in and uh I guess the scarf like made the back of my neck so warm that like my head didn't end up getting cold, so that was really helpful. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna get pretty warm out today though. It looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. So, all right, so this is a recipe that I eat very often. It's called plants in a pot. So I made this last night. So what you'll need is some plants and a pot. Yeah, it's it's best to have a clean pot. Um, and what you do, you, you cut up the plants, you start with the ones that cook the slowest, and you put those in first, and you put some water in there, some water. And uh, so yeah, you, you start that, I usually put the oven on high to start the water boiling, and then once it's boiling, I'll turn the heat down. And I'll let those cook, and then I'll, I'll begin adding the, the plants that cook less slowly, and I'll finish by putting in the plants that cook the least slow. Uh, the least slowly or the plants that cook the fastest and uh, even, even sometimes after that I'll add some raw plants so um, yeah it's a really good recipe uh, you'll need well yeah like I said you'll need plants and did you know that butternut squash you, you can just throw it in a crock pot cut it up into quarters and uh, well I, I thought the skin would just peel right off but I know if you get some decent quality sweet potatoes like these ones I got that are really good ones you can uh, yeah so this isn't the second course of plants in pot you uh, I use uh, sweet potatoes but you can use any kind of plant that you want crock pots are really handy uh, so yeah sweet potatoes just peel right they slide slip and slide right out of the skin uh, it's going to, it's hot, but it's really juicy. Sweet and juicy, that's what you want to go for. For the best energy, best uptake uh, of sugars into your cells. You know, for the healthiest metabolism and the slimmest physique. Alright, so yeah, there you go, plants in a pot, try it out. So yeah, riding out in the cold, not a problem. Like, like I said, my hands were fucking frozen in the first five minutes of the ride. That lens is all fogged up, whatever. But uh, 10 minutes in, I got my blood pumping and my hands weren't cold anymore. And it's like, you know, this whole winter riding is something I haven't really experienced before. And I'm like, why didn't I fucking do this earlier? It was, mental man purely mental like all my mistakes in the past have just been due to my own mind like me just not making the fucking connection and just just doing it you know hashtag just fucking do it um 
And so uh, I'm looking to break a PR this week, <laughs> a personal record of ri riding to work, riding my fucking bike to work, not taking a car um, at all, you know. So I got five days in a row. I just got to ride my bike to work. That's all I got to do this week, you know, and uh, make videos every day. That's, you know, a, a goal that I've had and I, I do, you know, with a few exceptions, like just put something out there. It doesn't matter if it's good or not. So these are my goals anyway. Um, I already know, like, I'm just going to fucking, I'm going to kill it this week. Like, I, I'm going to get get it done just because I, I've decided not to be a fucking shit cunt anymore. And, uh, yeah, just, like, quit being a fucking asshole. Like, you know, all this self-love stuff is really important. We, we, we do what we do because we love ourselves and we love life. But self-love has a limit. Like, there's also self-loathing that we need to acknowledge and not just shove underneath, like, false self-love. So, you know, you can say you love yourself, you can give yourself, like, kind, loving, mental nurturement. I remember I was really good at that, at being optimistic when I was, like, a bum on the streets. Like, just my, when my life was literally sitting on the sidewalk, uh, eating, binging on fucking, like, Pringles and Ben and & Jerry's and you know, McDonald's fucking chicken burgers, dude. Just like a, a extreme animal abuse. And I just remember like, I was so good at just coddling myself and like acting like I really love myself and just being like, yeah, you know, I was like really good at like so-called positive thinking, but just not fucking getting anything done. And I'm done with that, dude. Like. People are like, oh, don't be so hard on yourself. I tell them, like, oh, you know, I'm trying not to smoke pot anymore. Or, <laughs> yeah, I really don't want to drink coffee anymore. And people are like, why are you beating yourself up, man? Ooh, look, a fox. Wow, that guy's cruising. They're they so sleek. The way they run, they just glide over the ground. Uh, and, yeah, people are like, why are you beating yourself up, man? Why are you trying to make life so hard? It's like, no, 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 no. I got goals, man. And... Uh, yeah, the thing is, like, uh, there, it's hard to quit doing drugs because most of us don't actually set goals that uh, require us to get off the drugs. And I think that's the biggest thing. Like, if, if you just, you want to be somebody who doesn't drink coffee, you want to be somebody who doesn't smoke weed, who doesn't drink alcohol, but it's like, if you're just gonna stop doing that one thing, you're gonna be the same fucking person, and you're not gonna like, do, I, I used to think it was as simple as just replacing the habit, but it's more about like, not replacing the habit with good ones as much as just, well yeah, I guess it is, it's just, you gotta set goals that won't allow you to do the bad thing, so. Uh, or, you know, set goals that require you to do the right thing, that, that, to put the right shit in your body. Like, I, there's no way I can do, well, I could, because it's, it's just a choice in the moment, whether you're going to fucking do something or not. But you got to have the tools, right? Like, there, I, there's no way I could get this shit done this week as happily as I could if I was abusing uh, stimulants or, you know, depressants or, you know, just like suboptimal food. I, could, I just couldn't get it done uh, along with like setting other goals like trying to do better work and stuff. And, uh, you know, what other goals do I have this week? Putting out videos, being happy to be around. You, you know, you can do whatever the fuck you want. It's just a choice in the moment, man, whether you want to do something or not. Like, but eventually my meniscus on my, on my knee is just gonna wear out, and I'm not gonna have a fucking meniscus anymore. But I'll bet you, I'm still gonna be fucking riding my bike around, like, even if it starts hurting really bad, which it doesn't now, it just feels weird. Like, I, I'm, I'm still gonna be fucking doing what, it, what I gotta do 
and, and like being a happy person because it just it doesn't matter like what conditions there are though those like just make it easier and they allow you to like that it they it helps your mind function better overall like more than anything and I know there's like a lot going on in the body there's a lot of like sciencey shit going on but really like it's uh it's a mental pattern that we're trying to get into like the stuff the the good food the sleep you know water exercise um and a life of purpose it really uh it's it's about set, like just creating the conditions it's like a it, yeah it's like a whole pattern like everything changes and that's why I kind of I've been afraid of like making progress I've been afraid what's gonna happen if I like you know eat like as clean as I as I want as clean as I'd really like to like what's gonna happen if I start doing that and I'm only now learning what it's gonna be like I'm gonna be putting up vlogs vlogs of my own life you know and I'm gonna be going out like causing disruption like but uh you know, running up to people on the street saying, hey, what do you think about, like, the animal agriculture industry? You know, just talking to people, like, uh, that, that aren't going to expect it and just being ready to, like, disrupt people's day, you know, in, in a way that will make them feel uncomfortable. And there, there's so many other things, like, I'm only just figuring it out now, like, what my life's going to look like. And so once you create that vision, it's... uh. It's going to be so much easier to start, like, following the right habits. Like, like uh, I've, I've just experienced it myself. Really, uh, your, your actions are a lot more important than what's on your plate, ultimately. I mean, <laughs> food is everything. The, the food you eat is fucking everything. It's like, it's like, it's like what creates... The world that you want to go thrive in, the world that you want to go take action in and do shit, and, and in, a, in such a full, holistic way, like you, if you change your diet, you're gonna change your whole life is gonna fucking change. But it's not gonna fucking happen. I've experienced this, like recently, man. Is not you're you're not gonna fucking change your diet. You're not gonna fucking get on the bike and ex or you you know. Well, yeah, you're not going to change your diet or you're not going to get off drugs until you've set goals that don't allow it. Or, um, yeah, it's as simple as that. Like, you got to actually have a reason to be a sober, hardcore, you know, vegan or raw vegan. Like, you got to you got to actually be, and it's, it's going to be just easier, uh, to switch that way. I mean... If you're already doing it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, don't, don't worry about what you ate yesterday. Don't worry about what's on your fucking plate right now. Doesn't fucking matter. Just, if it's late, go to bed. Go to, like, shut the fucking computer off. Go to sleep. Or, you know, finish eating. Go to sleep. And, like, don't worry about what's on your fucking plate tomorrow. Don't worry if you got no good fucking food in the house. Doesn't matter. Woo! Uh, doesn't matter what the fuck you're eating because if, if you're alive, you know, you're alive and well, you don't need to go to the hospital or anything. You don't need to, like, leave work immediately to take a fucking nap. Uh, you know, if you're not in, like, a state of emergency, it's your choice what you do. And if you start doing what you do before you even get the, the diet straight, then all, like things will start falling into place. I experienced it, like I was working at Dunkin' Donuts, man. Uh, living on white rice and pasta and, uh, and tomato sauce, no vegetables. And I did that for weeks and weeks. It was about a month I was doing that. And uh, like, I was just, positive because I was like look I'm doing what I can and I'm riding my bike to work and then I started 
you know, I started getting the food and I'm like, cool, I'm where I want to be now. So I can just like be a fucking dipshit. I can be like a fucking bitch that gets nothing done. And I slowly slipped back into that mentality. And you know, here I go, like, I go out exercising a couple days. Ah, you know, I didn't ride my bike to work because. X, Y, Z, so I'd fucking be like running instead, like some biggest loser shit. Fall, and then boom, I fell into a fucking victim mentality, like that, just became a fucking victim. And uh, that's the last kind of person you want to be, man. So yeah, like I was saying yesterday, even if you're vegan, you can still be a shit cunt. Guess that's all I gotta say. Just, yeah, like, focus on what you do. And, and, uh, like, do the fucking right thing. If you're not riding your bike to work, like, at least most of the time, like, you're a pussy. Look at that. And if, if you're, like, you know, oh, it's raining and it's the middle of summer, but, you, uh, if rain is gonna make you drive your car to work, like, you're fucking off the planet. Fuck you. You know, that's what I'm trying to get at. Look at it. Look at her. I hope she's my age. And I tell her to go vegan. <laughs> so if you're a. Yeah, like. <laughs> like, self love is important. Self love is the reason why you do the right thing. But self-hate needs to be acknowledged. When, when you hate yourself enough, and you hate, to, if you hate yourself enough to take it out on other people and to take it out on the planet. Man. Looks good, go vegan. <laughs> she was hot. She had like a nose ring. Uh, so yeah, that's it, though, like, all right. Fuck you if you are not doing the right thing for the environment. Fuck you if you're not vegan. Don't give me excuses, like, unless you're like one in, uh, you know, 10,000 people that has like a rare genetic disorder that you can't, body can't make cholesterol or its own red blood cells. So you need like blood transfusions and red meat or, you know, like, if you're not one in 10,000 people or if you're not like, a hunter-gatherer who just, like, has no fucking choice but, like, to go out and grab lizards and bugs and shit. That, you know, if you're part of fucking society and you're not vegan, dude, like, fuck you. I'm uh, sorry. But, yeah, and, and if you're not, like, riding your bike to work, that, it's a, this whole thing is like a lifestyle and people's lives just revolve around carbs and cardio, fruit and cycling. And it's a cult, like... But it's it's the the one of the largest cults in the world. But more than size wise, it's the most active cult in the world, physically, mentally, on on the media, and it's it has the most purpose, most positive purpose. And people, are like, oh, you vegans, like you think anybody who's not a vegan is like a fucking dipshit, and uh, that's actually not true. There are some people who just can't be vegan, like there, but. 99.9999999999 you know fucking percent of people should be eating plant-based diet and like I just have no respect for people who just are get putting out excuses like oh I'm a victim or like give put, giving excuses like I, I I don't understand nutrition so like you you vegans are wrong like you need to eat meat for vitamin B12 and shit. And it's just like, yo, you gotta fucking think critically like about this stuff. Think for yourself, look at the actual data Th like, and come to your own conclusion. Like, you're not just safe. You're not safe just because you he eat like an egg a day or something. It, it, it doesn't guarantee that you're gonna be all right. And it's not good for you. I could go on, but I, people are just coming up with these like little excuses why they won't do the right thing for the planet. And it's like, even if you can get away with like a small amount of like 
this or that or something. Even if you think you can get away with it for your health, even though it's not healthy, it's really not. And you, you think like, oh, it's not gonna have a big deal on the environment, so fuck you vegans, like vegans are shit. Like veganism, that you're just not like thinking critically about it, man. Like, just, you, I mean, the thing is you gotta like do it 100% or else what are you doing? Like, get on your bike, get some bananas, y yam, yam, man. <laughs> Uh, what am I trying to say? Like, yeah, it's a movement. And so you want to just like dip your foot in the water and like pussyfoot around the movement? Or do you want to like actually get some shit done and actually save the fucking planet? So join the cult today. Please, thank you. Get started on YouTube. Buy a sack of rice. Buy a box of bananas. You know, or 10 boxes of dates. Or you know, buy uh, a case of sweet potatoes, something, just whole food carbs. So easy, like they're, they're most nutrient dense foods on the planet. It's so easy, you'll save a ton of money. Like you'll realize how easy it is to get all your nutrients, like in a very simple way. And you'll just like get your priorities straight. Like, oh look at me, I'm eating like a peasant. And I feel so much better. I have so much more meaning in my life. Like you look around you and just be like, wow, do I really need this like granite countertop fucking, you know, vanity or do I really need to like redo my kitchen? Do I really need to like get get like a new sofa even though no, the sofa I have is perfectly fine. And you'll just like, yeah, you'll start looking around you and just see how much waste there is in the world. And you know, not even waste, like it's waste for a shitty purpose. But I mean, I think if you're gonna go out and do something cool that's not necessary once in a while, that's great, like, if you really enjoy it, but I, the thing is, I don't think people really do enjoy most of their waste, that's why it's waste. So you just see, like, all this unnecessary shit and all this stuff that isn't being attended to that people don't realize is so necessary. And so you'll start attending to the stuff that needs to be, that is really, you know, needs your attention and your time and your money and all that. And that, that's really what it's all about. And eventually you'll, you'll get the energy, like if you're diligent, you get your sleep out of sugar every day. You ride your bike to work. So I keep saying it and I'm gonna keep saying it. You, you'll eventually have enough energy to contribute and to give. Or maybe right now you already do have that energy. Like I, I have like a much worse body than like a lot of 40 year old guys, like average Americans. My body's in worse shape than them and yet I live like a much more high energy lifestyle without the caffeine, you know, and, and uh, a life with much more meaning and purpose than people twice my age, you know, who have better bodies than me. They haven't beaten the shit out of their fucking bodies so bad. Um, and, and so yeah, like maybe right fucking away, you'll have enough energy to fucking give back, man. Or like to, Maybe not even give, but just, like, pick up after other people. Yeah, like, literally, like, you, getting on the internet, being an activist, and, and uh, telling people what needs to be done, and, like, just educating and encouraging people to do the right thing, like, saying, hey, quit your fucking around. There's no time for you to be sitting on the couch eating your fucking vegan sausage and not doing anything, man. Like, and fat vegans are not awesome, okay? <laughs> I, I mean, I love all people. I love all vegans. But it's not okay to be a fucking fat, lazy slob. I'm sorry. It's not okay. I, I, yeah, I'll say it again. It's not okay to be a fat, lazy slob, and I mean, mean that with love. Uh, all right, bottom line. Let me think about the bottom line for a sec. Bottom line is, go vegan and 
become a vegan activist. Just become an activist in general. That's all it is. Like, activism is creating social change, causing people to change the way they live. So, if you can do it all in one fell swoop, all, all the better. Like, vegan is just such an integral part of it. So, uh, here's the definition of veganism one more time. That's a big deal. That, that involves a lot of work. And that means getting a lot fucking done. So it's not something we just go, like, yes, you can become vegan overnight. It's called hitting that switch I'm talking about. It's called hitting that switch. You can become vegan overnight. You, you know, start eating plants, start working your ass off. But you're not vegan just because you eat a plant-based diet. I'll say it again, you are not vegan just because you eat a plant-based diet. And the sooner you figure this out, the sooner you realize this, the better your lifestyle, the quality of your life is going to be. And, you know, just the more meaning and purpose you're going to have in your life. When you realize, look, hey, I might have stopped eating meat, dairy, eggs, cheese, honey, fish. Might have stopped eating all those things three years ago. But I just started going vegan this week, man. I, I mean, and, and I, like we all have slip-ups. Every one of us. Nobody can deny it. We all have slip-ups where we just decide, oh, shit, you know, we're not going to do anything with our lives. The, the very best of us. Just that we have days when we're like, fuck this. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to be productive. It's like, what do you need to do? You need to sleep? That's doing something. And if you don't need to sleep, what do you need to do? You need to eat? You need to just what? What is it? You need to train or you need to make a video? I mean, I'm not going to reproduce because I'm going to be picking up after you fucking having kids that you can't take care of or you don't want to cultivate the planet so the planet can fucking take care of these kids. So that's why I'm not going to have kids. It's not that I... I don't want to have kids. It's that fucking scumbags and assholes are making the planet a shitty place for the fucking kids. So that's why I'm not going to have kids, because I'm going to fucking help those kids. You know, I'm going to adopt a kid that actually needs a good parent. And, uh, you know, I just, yeah, I'm done, like, coddling people, dude. Coddling myself, like, saying, oh, you're fine, you know. You're, you're okay, like. You're doing your best. You're eating vegan, man. You're, you're, you're just, you know, you put out a YouTube video once a week, uh, encouraging people to be more healthy, and just pussy shit, dude. Like, I, I want, <laughs> I, I want to actually get people re to become real vegans, not just eat a, eating a plant-based diet. I want people to actually like start pushing, giving extra, like working extra hard to make the world a better place than the shithole that it is. So, like I can say, you know, I can say like I'm doing X, Y, Z, but that's only, the only reason I'm going to be sharing the things that I do that I think are good is if it can inspire somebody or encourage somebody to actually do that or, or to to take fucking action like just get the simple shit out of the way eat yams ride a bike you know fruit and cycling just do that much once you've been doing that for a month or two get on YouTube you know, get on social media and start trolling people and being like, look, this is not about me, my way of life being right. This is about scientifically proven. This is the right thing to do. And, and I don't, you know, so people are all going to have like their, their reasons why they can't do it. And, uh, you know, I hate to say it, like I'm not going to be listen, listening to a lot of people's excuses why they can't do it. I understand some people just have different scenarios. So, you know what I'm trying to say. Alright, 
like, I have no respect for the people who, who don't have, like, outright insane reasons why they can't get on their bike and eat some fucking potatoes. You gotta, you gotta have real, some, something really fucking going on in your life that's really fucking, I mean, stopping you. I mean, stopping you in your fucking tracks. Otherwise, like, why do you deserve respect, you know? I've always been the type that's just, I love and respect everyone, unconditionally. And I still believe in that. But, it's time for people to fucking step up their game, and, uh, yeah, just quit fucking around. That's the bottom line. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I'll get out of your faces now. Last bit before I show you my award-winning recipe for the night. Uh, just thinking how, to kind of to sum the whole thing up, to, to get that job, you know, get out of your rut. Uh, I understand a lot of people, like, don't have a lot of money. Um, you, you can't afford to use, like, that many fruits and vegetables and stuff. But I didn't always either. But I had the mentality, you know, and that got me to a better place. Got, it got me a job. Like, I was just an outstanding worker. And, you know, uh, I tried to be an outstanding person as well. And it, it worked. And, um, like, the saying goes, mood follows action. So you feel better you, uh, once, once you're outside or, or uh, once you're you're doing what you want to do. You end up feeling like doing it because it's what you want to do, but uh, sometimes you don't feel like doing it, but you know intellectually you want to do it, so you go and do it, and then you actually feel like doing it. That's the concept. Mood follows action. True and p powerful. Um, I think also food follows action in my experience. So, you, you know, you're like, oh, I can't afford to eat like all those sweet potatoes and friggin' broccoli and shit, but... I just remember, I always, I wasn't always either, like, I was living on white rice and tomato sauce, no fucking vegetables, like I was saying, and I got to where I needed to be because I was making the best choices I had available to me, no compromise, like, that, even back then, I, I like, would not touch a grain of salt, ever, uh, you know, or oil, like, never crossed my lips, and, uh, you know, I was just eating, like, simple, but it, it wasn't like he healthy, it wasn't like a whole food fucking diet, but um, food follows action, you know, so I was a, the, the best I could be making the be very best choices, and I promise you that will lead you to a better place in life where you can afford what you really want to eat or, you know, you can afford like a nicer bike, stuff like that making the right choices it's always the right time to do the right thing uh yeah i guess that sums it up like it start start doing what you want to do start uh acting like the person you want to be you you got to be it before you can have it so you got to behave like the person you want to be so if you want to have it you got to be it first right yeah that's all right, so I got people watching me now. Just final point. Just remember, there's no point in getting off drugs if you don't have positive lifestyle habits that they're getting in the way of. So create those positive lifestyle habits first, and the drugs will just fall by the wayside, man. I promise. Or if it doesn't work, let me know what does work, or let me know if it doesn't work. Put it on YouTube. The world needs it. All right, so let's get the last shot of the night. Before I show you what I'm gonna eat. Oh, well. Yeah.